Here's a little fact I should probably point out. See this Goodwill sticker? Just because you donate stuff, don't, don't think for one second that it doesn't end up in the garbage. Mosquito repellent candle. Big one. Courtesy of Family Dollar, I think. No? Family Dollar and then a garage sale, maybe? <laughs> Either way, that's, that'll come in handy. I'll use it. I'm here at my stash hole. And I'm going to keep all this good aluminum and copper wire. I'm not going to have to get that out. But all these big pieces of tin. And I'm not going to mess around hauling them around and stuff. So, so they'll just sit right here. You know, if someone comes and snatches them up, it's not that big of a deal. That's highly unlikely anyone's going to take it though. Score these pieces of polyfoam. They're for like chairs, padded chairs and stuff. Hobby Lobby, $6.99, $4.99. So, ouch. Oh, dang it. Ow. Watch out for the thorns. <laughs> but, uh, I was thinking about actually maybe putting that on my seat and then putting a cover over top of it I might have to might have to try to see if I can do something about that it's kind of thick though I like something about half that thick anyway it's a pretty and a peaceful little stash hole <laughs> Well, I'm finding an unordinary amount of fans, ceiling fans here lately. It could be because it just started getting fairly warm out. And people are switching them on and they're all wiggly and stuff. <laughs> like this one right here, I guarantee you was not good up there on someone's ceiling flopping around. So that's probably, probably explains it. Well, my GoPro battery just died when I started yanking this out of here and it's actually a nice little score, a little porter cable, cordless drill, two batteries, a flashlight, and the charger. So that's actually a very nice little score if it's all functional and it looks like it is. It's, it looks like it's in real nice shape actually. But yeah, you know, of course my GoPro, of course my GoPro battery would 
go out the instant I find that. I heard the jingle of a change cache in here somewhere. These are always good. There it is. I'm gonna see you hear that change like that, and that's not only change, but that's an indicator. You now there, there's no telling what could be in there. There could be jewelry in there. There could be, there could be anything in there because change is usually represents a like someone's junk drawer or personal like dresser stash. You know, it's, it's not something that really, really they didn't really want to throw it away. Or they might have, I don't know. Anyways, my experience tells me that when you hear these change things, it could be, you could be dealing with anything. You could be dealing with gold jewelry. You could be dealing with any, you know, just fashion jewelry. All kinds of good stuff could be in there. But unfortunately, that's some little two pair of earbuds. Uh, little, uh, Motorola little belt clip Motorola deal. It's kind of interesting. But unfortunately, we're not looking like we're going to get anything special out of here. We're looking like about there's 25, 35, 45, 50. A little over a dollar's worth of change. That's about it. All right, I'll snatch that up. I make sure there's no other jingles going on in here. All right, let's see it. That could have been better. Check this out. This isn't something you see every day. Matter of fact, I've never seen this before ever. Check that out. Movie theater seats. <laughs> You know, those would be really good for the right person. I, there's nothing I can do with them. I mean, I could take some of that scrap metal, but, but uh, you know, some of those loose pieces, but, you know, the chairs themselves, there's nothing really I can do with them. I just live in a tiny, no, not tiny, but I just live in a two-bedroom apartment, so. Those would be pretty cool for the right person. Let's go see what's in this one. Oh. Nothing. Looks like some sort of brand new belts down there. These big dumpsters are always fun. You don't know what kind of business is being gutted or what kind of building is being gutted. It's always interesting. Uh, it looks like they're just starting to just just starting to do something because the there's an aluminum gutter in there these these dumpsters obviously have just arrived here probably today or yesterday I suppose they're gearing up they're gearing up for something there's a bunch of might be storing stuff down there I don't know it looks like they're gearing up for See, I think this is a movie theater. Yeah, well, I, no, I know this is a movie theater. So I'm guessing they're renovating the movie theater. And I'm going to have to swing back by here regularly to see. <laughs> see exactly what they're putting in these big dogs. Because those are three extra large industrial guys. And uh, they're gearing up for a major project. So that's cool. And I just came around the corner this way, and look at this, two more of them. That one down there is filled up. They definitely have a very large project. It looks like they're about to start, or have already started. Let's go down there and see what's in that one. Got some insulated wire, that's good. And probably an extra long steel pipe I'm not gonna mess with because it's buried and looks like it's way too long. 
and uh, probably a cord off that vacuum maybe. I'm gonna snatch this up real quick. Yeah, them, those steel pipes are really long. Uh, that one there looks like it's at least 20 feet, 30 feet maybe. I can actually hear the movie theater sound system in there. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but you know that real good rich bass sound it's got. So it dawned on me what they're probably doing is they're probably probably doing one theater at a time. Or maybe, you know, two or three at a time. That's a huge place. I think there's at least a dozen, maybe I think there's at least a dozen theaters in this place. And it goes around there and another building around the corner. I guess it'd be kind of hard to do <laughs> 12 theaters all at once to begin with. So, But anyways, here's what I just yanked out of there. This is an interesting development. I'm definitely going to have to keep my eye on this place. Like this white wire. All, all this wire has got a real high copper content. See that right there. That's real good stuff. I might actually even be able to get number one out of that. Even though it's braided. Just because it's so... That's just got such a high content in it. And all this other stuff is good number two insulated. That's all good stuff. And it's, it's heavy. That's a heavy deal. That, that might be 20 pounds. Cause it's got, you know, when it's got that real high copper content, it, it really starts to weigh a lot. And then some nice pieces of short steel. And I think this is a piece of, piece of aluminum. No, it's not. That's just a piece of, that's a steel tube too, so. That'll all go with short steel right there. Well, this might not, but I like these the short steel like this, these little short pieces, because it doesn't take up hardly any room. <laughs> and it's just heavy. Like that's that's probably eight or nine pounds just right there in my hand. So, you know, that stuff really adds up quick, you know. Like a, a, a tote like I use for those bars. <sighs> <laughs> would probably weigh 300 pounds which would be actually probably too much for my frame to handle pieces of steel can add up and it might be even 400 pounds if it was little pieces like this this could be a project that literally goes on all summer long this is a nice development I came back for that jack it's a big heavy dog too. It's good. You know, you might see me pass up light pieces of tin, but I won't pass that stuff up. <laughs> and I got to digging, and it's a good thing I came back at night because I had to dig. And you know, you don't want to really dig during the day. But I got to looking, and there was more pieces, little bits of brass, some aluminum, spray guns, a little more brass, chairs, old heater. Look at this grinder. Look at this dude right here. I think that's a grinder. I'm not sure what that is. That's not a grinder wheel. I'm not sure what that is. I thought it was a grinder, but that's that's not a grinder wheel. Huh. Bevel right. New tick. Huh. And then uh, this dude, whatever that is, was with it. That's a super heavy thing too. So it's all a load by itself, so it's good I came back at night time. Stash hole. So there it is. This bag came off an old artificial Christmas tree. It actually works really good. Good enough. What do you think? <laughs> Sounds like a dog knows where I'm at. <laughs> Good thing he can't sell scrap metal. Ha, ha, ha.
This is the best.